Algebra 2, CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, but no sweat, this is a common core CRAM session, so it can be used for any Algebra 2 course throughout the United States. Hey, Florida, California, and even Texas, thanks for viewing, as well as any Algebra 2 course throughout the world. What up to Jamaica, the UK, and oh yeah, Canada. Thanks for your support. Trigonometric functions. Question five. Evaluate a function, f of a plus h. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. If I could stick every single Algebra 2 student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I definitely would. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to get your healthy dose by ordering and purchasing the complete Algebra 2 cram session. You have lots of friends, classmates, peers, or even colleagues who may be taking Algebra 2 with you as well. Tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they can get their healthy boost, okay? All right. Evaluate a function, question five. If f of x is equivalent to x squared plus one, which expression represents f of a plus h? Is it going to be a, a squared plus h squared plus one, b, a squared plus h squared plus two, c, a squared plus one plus h, or d, a squared plus two a h plus h squared plus one? Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to come up with the correct answer. To evaluate a function means to substitute a given value for your x term, okay? And here, our given value is a plus h. It's still a given value, although it's two more variables. That's totally fine. All right, so in this problem, f of a plus h is equivalent to a plus h squared plus 1. Again, because we substituted a plus h in for x, okay? But since this is not one of the choices, we're going to have to go ahead and multiply the square term. All right, so this is going to give rise to the following. And we can use the FOIL multiplication method to multiply these two factors. And FOIL stands for first, outside, inside, last. Okay, all right, so if we multiply the first terms, this gives rise to a squared. Now we have to add um, the uh, product of the outside terms, that's a plus h. Now we're going to have to add the product of the inside terms, that's another a plus h. And last, we're going to have to add the product of the last terms. Okay, this gives rise to h squared, and we cannot leave out our 1. Okay, all right, that wasn't so bad. But now what we can go ahead and do is actually combine the like terms. I see two like terms here that can be combined to make things a little neater. And when you combine the like terms, you get a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 1. This is answer choice D. All right, that wasn't so bad.